Hello everyone, welcome to Gord's Corner, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, here at Gord's Running Store. And uh, today we're going to talk about a new arrival for the upcoming fall winter season uh, from uh, New Balance. It's the Fresh Foam More Permafrost Shoe. And um, before we get to that, we do have a few questions that came online. Uh, we have a question from My Dog Jogs. Um, they're talking about the stack height of the Ghost Max. Um, you're just questioning, they've heard reported at stock height of about 39, 33, um, and we've indicated it's 28, 22. Um, when we get the stock height, uh, we're going to the um, Ghost, uh, Ghost Max uh, and the Ecosystem Fact Sheet, and on it, they're still claiming from Brooks, it's uh, 28, 22. Does the Caldera sell well? Uh, how does the Hyperion Max feel compared to the Caldera? Uh, two quietly different shoes. <laughs> the Caldera being a trail running shoe, the Hyperion Max being a road running shoe and a more performance oriented shoe. Um, they do have uh, very similar um, rockers to them, so meaning for when you come down in the bit of midfoot, maybe slightly heel strike, you'll have a nice rocker in the forefoot to give you a nice, um, feel like a toe spring, a roll off the shoe. The Caldera is definitely a trail shoe. Um, we have some people who sometimes find the width of the Speed Goat is a little bit too narrow. So then to go to the Caldera, which tends to be more of an average fit for a lot of people. So we find it's a good, it's a good um, match with, with that shoe. Has a similar sort of weight. Cushion wise, it's a nice, nice uh, sole. And um, traction-wise, it's a surprisingly good, a really tacky type outsole. So it works well. The lugs aren't super deep on the Caldera. It does have an ability to grip, even in the winter months going into the winter season. It, um, it still has really good traction on, on the packed snow as well as the icy surfaces. Skate ATA1. Um, I felt the tw version 22 of the Brooks Adrenaline felt narrow compared to the 21s. Um, I'm, she's on the fence about the 23s, worry about it would be narrow like the 22s. Again, there's a few, few things, I, a few ways I can go with this one. Um, typically when a person goes from an older shoe um, and it's the same width, Brooks is usually pretty consistent with their fit from one generation to the next. Um, the bigger issue is your older shoe, you've been using it, um, you have a pack down insert or pack down liner in the shoe. And that pack down liner uh, usually takes about a week to week and a half to pack down and take the shape of the sole of your foot. What you could try next time when you go in to possibly try the version 23 is take your old shoe with you, take the liner from your old shoe out, Put the new shoe on, but put your liner in it instead of the brand new liner. Then try it on, and I'm sure you'll find that the shoe, oh yeah, this fits like I'm used to. When you put your foot into the shoe with the brand new liner, the upper of the shoe is going to feel a little tighter because that liner is not packed down. Um, so again, I hope that answers your question. Basically, the sole of the shoe, they've... Uh, up the ante slightly with the Fresh Foam More X. It's a slightly softer compound compared to the existing trail shoe as far as the Fresh Foam More and as well as the regular Fresh Foam More road shoe. Um, they still call it out as a trail shoe. Um, what they've done with it, they've used more of a like a gum rubber type texture outsole on it, but they've maintained the road running uh, tread on it as far as the grip and traction. Um, they're hopefully, they're, their market with this shoe is more the commuters, uh, trying to keep people with the warm, comfy feet. The permafrost is a, a proprietary uh, waterproof membrane that they have on it. It's not a Gore-Tex, so it's less expensive for New Balance to produce. Um, it does have some waterproof breath, uh, characteristic, does have some breathability. It's not as breathable as Gore-Tex is. So if a person is apt to have really warm feet, generally, um, you and you're wearing this shoe or going into the winter season with it, I would wear a little lighter sock than you, you normally would um, so that your foot doesn't perspire as much. Um, and if you find your foot does perspire still, even with the really light sock, then you're going to wear the shoe a little loose, more loosely tied. 
so that the, the shoe actually breathes through the opening, the cavity that your foot goes into the shoe because the permafrost may not breathe quickly enough to let your foot um, feel a little bit more comfortable. I found uh, last season I used a, um, the Rebel um, with their permafrost upper uh, on some of my longer training runs in preparation for London Marathon last year. Um, and on the long runs, um, there was a couple runs where I wore too heavy of a sock and my foot got too warm. And when I took my shoe off at the end of the, end of the run, the outer layer of my sock had a layer of frost on it from the, the perspiration of the foot coming through the sock and then freezing on the exterior of the sock. My foot was fine. Uh, it was just sort of, oh, wow, going to be careful where I walk around the house with these ones. So get a dry pair of socks on in a hurry. Um, the a few things they've done. They still have that bit of that rockered sole, so when your foot comes down, it rolls through the mid, the heel strike to mid stance phase nice and smoothly, and definitely has the big rocker in the forefoot, so it rolls forward as well. It's a four mil drop shoe, from a 38 to a uh, 34. It's a, I think a $10 increase compared to the regular um, fresh foam more road shoe, and uh, compared to the trail shoe, I believe it's again ten dollars more as well so not a not a radical increase um, if a person could be running a little bit more off the beaten path and onto a fairly rugged trail the lack of the aggressive grip which they do have on the trail shoes um, the, this one has a little bit more lug depth on it and a little bit more aggressive in its design um, this would still work well on the on the more aggressive trails Whereas this is going to be more the the pavement, the icier conditions, because it's got a smoother surface for, for potential grip and traction. Um, and the gum rubber in the past has performed really well, even in the cold temperatures, as far as maintaining some grip and traction. It does have a speed lay system on it. So it does have like a little toggle for ease of on and ease of off. They claim it's going to be easier when you have mitts on it, provided you can still negotiate the little toggle. Um, one, one word of warning, uh, you have to get that little piece started so you have something to grab on it. Um, so when you go to take it off, make sure you leave yourself something there to be able to grab. Otherwise, uh, even though you have gloves on or mitts on, you may not grab that as easily. So, and again, it's just a quick toggle that way. So, um, again, New Balance Fresh Foam More X. Uh, permafrost from New Balance coming in at 209.95. It uh, comes in uh, widths as well. Uh, women's B, D, and 2E. Men's will come in D, 2E, and 4E. Um, so feel free to pop by your local independent store, check it out for yourself. Um, actually, I should also mention this is all reflective. So when the light hits it, it will illuminate for, from a safety perspective as well. And it shows, it serves well as a little mud guard or, or basically your, your rand around the shoe to keep the moisture and the debris from penetrating that part of the shoe. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and send us your comments and uh, have a great time and stay well out there.